two key differences in the weight loss injections. We all know by now that the semaglutide or Wegovy is the GLP-1 agonist and the Zetbound or Terzipatide has both GLP-1 and GIP agonist effects. Does the GIP even matter? And the answer to this is gonna be yes. So we know from the studies that people are losing weight with the semaglutide or Wegovy, but they're losing even more weight with the terzipatide or Zetbound. And the difference in these, again, is that GIP-1 agonist effect. So easily for over a decade, scientists have been studying these drugs and have been looking at the synergistic effect of both of these medicines together. So I'm gonna go over two potential reasons why the terzipatide might have more weight loss. Number one, the central nervous system or CNS effects. So we know that with both the Wegovy and the Zetbound, the GLP-1 has receptors in the brain that help decrease hunger. And this is a very important mechanism of action for both. However, it's postulated that the combination of GLP and GIP increase the satiety pathway in the brain even more and thus helping with hunger even more than the GLP-1 alone. And it's thought that this happens in either one of three ways or a combination of all of these. First of all, GIP also has receptors in the brain. And so acting with GLP, they're binding more receptors so you get more effect of the decreased uh, hunger. Second, the GIP may help GLP bond more or have more receptors in the brain. So you're getting more benefits um, from the GLP-1 binding. Third, GIP may help with nausea associated with the GLP-1 agonist, and this may allow for higher doses of the GLP. So it has been postulated for decades that GIP helps with nausea and confirmed by a more recent study on rats. And so rats were given uh, GIP and they appeared less nauseated after the injection. So it does appear that GIP can help with nausea and this may increase the tolerance to the GLP-1 um, agonist. So one thought I had was how do you know when a rat is nauseated? The second reason why GIP-1 may add enhanced benefits for weight loss um, is that it has receptors on the white adipose tissue. So white adipose tissue is a storage area for excess calories, and it's mainly made up of adipocytes, or what we commonly call fat cells. These adipocytes store lipids when you take in too many calories, they release lipids when you're in a fasting state, and they secrete the hormone adipokine. When you are in a state of what scientists would call prolonged positive energy balance and what we otherwise know as excessive overeating, these adipocytes have a hard time keeping up with all those extra calories. They try to store these lipids and eventually they get so big they can cut off their own blood supply and this makes these fat cells necrose and die. So now the excess calories and excess lipids have to go somewhere and this causes your body to store these excess lipids in your liver, liver your skeletal muscle, um, and other areas of the body that aren't supposed to have fat. And this is what is called ectopic fat deposition. This fat cells forming where they're not supposed to be can lead to multiple medical problems, including insulin resistance, type 2 diabetes, and metabolic abnormalities. So it appears that GIP helps your body regulate this white adipose tissue um, and helps to prevent spillover um, of the lipids into other cells of your body that it's not supposed to be. 
why adipose tissue is important for whole body metabolic function. It's important for insulin sensitivity. So it's important to keep this white adipose tissue healthy. So why is this important? Well, these factors may be the reason why studies are showing that people are losing more weight with ZetBound than with Wegovy. So clinically, what I tell my patients is that most people will lose weight on the Wegovy, but you might have to get to the highest dose before you see the weight loss. So in the studies um, showed people on Wegovy or the semaglutide, the average weight loss was 15.8% of your total body weight, but this was on the highest dose. And people saw an average weight loss of 15% total body weight on the five milligram of the ZetBound or one of the lowest doses. So it may take you up to four months on the Wegovy to even reach the weight loss dose if you go by the incremental dosing. Whereas if you take the ZetBound, you can start seeing about the same amount of weight loss in as little as the second month. Some patients can get very frustrated if they're not seeing a lot of weight loss for the first four months. So this does make a difference clinically. Also, these medicines are expensive. Um, and so this can make a huge price difference with the Wegovy being around $1,300 a month and the ZetBound being a little over $1,000 a month. This can make a big price difference if you're losing, starting to lose the same amount of weight at month two as you are when you have to make it to month five. Also, although nausea is also a common side effect with both the Wegovy and the ZetBound, you may have a little less nausea with the ZetBound because of those, those effects that the GIP one has on the brain and helping with nausea. So this may increase the tolerance somewhat. Ultimately, the decision on if a weight loss injection is the appropriate treatment for you will be a decision that is made between you and your doctor and your doctor will be able to choose based on your medical history um, which injection might be right for you.